we have some looking around the league to do. First up, the American League. Solely, the Angels at home taking on the Minnesota Twins. No Otani. The Angels still trying to hold on to the lead in the AOS until one of their best players, one of the best players in baseball comes back on the mound. Patrick Sandoval, not exactly how we thought he'd pitch this year. 1.1 ER or um whip 2.29 ERA 7 and 0. Definitely not what we expected. Tough play here. Uh maybe you run the first. Maybe that's a better option. Uh Michael Taylor beats that out. It's a tough single to give up there. I don't know if he would have got there, but definitely we get there sooner than Patrick having to come across since he got a late start. And you know, because I'm showing you this, something probably happened afterwards. Jorge Polanco doubles into the gap. And guess what? Run scores. one nothing Minnesota. Tough luck there. Angels will have their work cut out for him. Pablo Lopez also pitching very well. Sub two ERA, sub one whip, seven and two on the year. It's been very, very good. So a nice pitching matchup. Definitely not what you expected coming in. Renfro singles up the middle. That's after a trout double ties it up at one. So the Angels answer right away. Bottom of the fourth. Taylor Ward having a great season so far. Very productive on the offensive side with his bat. And guess what? Oppo Taco. He goes the other way. Solo shot. Touch them all, my friend. 2-1 Angels. They take the lead. Big fly for Taylor. Home run number nine on the year. I think his teammates might be a little happy about that. 2-1. Top of the seventh. Into the bullpen. Carlos on the mound. Tough one there. Wild pitch on a 0-2 count makes it 1-2. Runner moves up to second. And Solano is able to take advantage. Solano drops one in the right. That's going to score the runner. We're back at an even score here. 2-2. So good job by Donovan. And guess what? An extra is Donovan against Matt Moore. Look at this. Bloops one in. Just stays fair. They don't send the runner. So runner's on the corners. <laughs> and look at Taylor. Suicide squeeze. 3-2 Minnesota. So Solano moves the runner over. And Taylor... Executed to perfection. Nothing you can do there. 3-2. Now we go to the bottom half. Angels got to make it happen and got to happen now. First up, Rendon. Rips one down to corner and left. That's going to go over. So auto double. Trading places. 3-3. Three, three. And Geo. Not the guy you expect to see hitting a home run. He goes yard down to the last strike of the inning. Big fly for Gio Urshela. His second. Only his second of the season. And you know what? I think the Angel Faithful will be happy with that one. Angels rally. In the bottom of the 10th. Celebrate, my friend. They take the W. Trying to hold off the Rangers in the division. They are 5-3 winners. 10 hits for them. For the Twins, you saw Solano. 3 hits. Polanco, 2 hits. Very productive. Um, not much you can say about that. Much more. Two stolen bases. Lopez pitched well. Two runs. Seven hits over six innings spread across. Eight Ks. No decision for him. For the Angels. Ward with three hits. Batting 331. Trout. You saw his hit. Renfro with two. Angels offense have been very productive. Sandoval pitched very well. Six hits. One run allowed. No decision. More, though. Even though he gave up a run, he will get the win. The Angels improve to 11 games over 500. The Twins keep hovering around the 500 mark. They can't seem to break it. Speaking of breaking, 
we're going to go take a look at the Mariners. They've got a lot of things that are not going right. What is going on with Seattle?